1999, I was all about must-see TV. I was watching Friends. 20 years ago, I think I was probably watching TGIF. I was watching NYPD Blue. I think we were also close to the tail end of 90210 and Melrose Place. Also that year, a certain New Jersey mob boss walked into a psychiatrist's office and changed television. Nineteen ninety-nine is arguably a pivotal year in the history of media because it's the year TiVo and Replay TV first hit the marketplace. And those were the first devices that really started the transition we're living in today. I look at 1999, and yes, a lot has happened, but in many ways we're the same people, we're doing a lot of the same behaviors. If you went back and thought about what would 1999 you have been most amazed with, it's that the stuff you're watching, the stuff you care about, you can have it wherever you want, whenever you want. As we observe what's going on in the media marketplace today, the ability to trust content, its veracity, its quality, the fact that it is being made so it will be resonant to you, but has a trusted brand associated with it, I think there is a return to quality in the offing. I don't think storytelling has fundamentally changed. I think storytelling has just gotten much better. And if you think of the proliferation of devices and platforms, there are just more ways we can tell great stories. 20 years ago, if an advertiser needed to understand how their ad dollars were impacting a consumer, they would be looking at things like linear television, radio, print, Five years from now, the amount of touch points that advertisers and, and brands will have to engage with consumers is going to be exponentially greater than it even is now. There is, at least now, the possibility of looking not just at how many impressions I delivered, but exactly who I delivered them to. Comscore has been a great partner to the industry, right? Comscore became very quickly, in the early 2000s probably, the gold standard for digital measurement, digital advertising measurement. Comscore was conceived of innovation. It's hard to remember when what content existed on the web wasn't measured. And so investments were being made and nobody really was doing a competent job of measuring them. Comscore is there to not only approach existing challenges in the industry, which is can we do TV measurement better, is there a new way to look at the data available and apply it to today's problems, but also to look forward and say, what's over that next hill? Look, if we're all being honest, it's hard to predict five years out, let alone 20 years out, right? But let me make a bold, even crazy prediction. The 30-second spot will be alive and well in 2039. The constant access and the advent of 5G and um, machine learning and AI and you know VR and AR that like these sort of uh, real life and digital realms are just sort of converging. I think we're going to see a really interesting evolution in the way that consumers get smarter and more effective at curating their own content consumption experiences and all of the you know advertising implications for what goes with that. I can't even imagine what things will be like 20 years from now with the internet of things, with addressable media, whether it's connected TV or streaming audio or voice search. There's just going to be so much data and so much fragmentation. It's going to change the way that, that people need to think about uh, measurement and, and advertising.